This summer's conventions in Milwaukee and Chicago are certain to draw significant protests and security threats. The Secret Service is supervising security for both conventions. Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas got an exclusive look at how they're working with local law enforcement to keep the conventions safe. The unmistakable smell of burning rubber as we witness firsthand Secret Service training that will be critical to the security of President Joe Biden and former President Trump during their upcoming party conventions. It's how agents must drive if a motorcade were attacked. The ability to approach 90 miles per hour on narrow streets. Navigate tight corners, stop on a dime. Reverse course and not leave a trace of damage. No cones knocked over, I see. No, sir. That's the key. A short distance away, Agents training for one of many potential worst-case scenarios. Secret Service counter-assault team jumps out, moving toward would-be terrorists, firing away. We have to train from the lone wolf gunman all the way up to possibly state-sponsored uh, terrorist attacks. The point? To have lethal force at the ready. We use speed, surprise, and violence of action. But the stakes couldn't be higher, right? Absolutely. It's a no-fail mission. With the Republican convention only about a week away, the Secret Service and an army of federal, state, and local agencies are working around the clock for any threat in a deeply divided country. And what the FBI director has suggested is perhaps the most challenging environment since 9-11. Security package here in Milwaukee for the RNC convention more than a year in the making. ABC News inside the Secure Joint Command Center at a secret location. I moved to Milwaukee full-time in August of 2023. This has been my exclusive role within the Secret Service, is to uh, coordinate the security uh, plan for this event. Everything must be protected, even vast Lake Michigan. This is a uh, accessible uh, area for uh, get onto the property. And this needs to be, again, monitored. Uh, there is a level of surveillance and uh, restrictions. Helicopters and airplanes will patrol the skies. And the Secret Service has a team to counter a new and potentially lethal threat, drones. To get the job done, the Secret Service has its own cadre of drones, which can save lives in many ways. If we get a report of a medical situation, uh, we can use the drone to actually go over there, help identify the medical situation, and direct our first responders to that area. In Chicago, we met with the Secret Service agent overseeing security for the Democratic National Convention in August. It is very serious. We're not only here to um, ensure the safety of the attendees uh, of the convention, but there's almost 2.7 million residents of the city of Chicago that live and work here every day. Keep it up, keep it up. Chicago's police plan to put hundreds of officers on bikes for crowd control. The bikes are able to get around through traffic, through the side streets, around the venues. We can move them at any time quickly to be able to mobilize them. The city's top cop mindful not only of the threat of terror, but how crowds themselves can become a security threat. No one has forgotten the violence of the Democratic National Convention in Chicago in 1968. Or the recent tense situations involving war protests over the Israeli Hamas war. People who are showing up to have their voices heard, we want to protect those rights. But we're also preparing and training for when things can't be de escalated and they go off scale. It's a deadly serious moment. For this week, Pierre Thomas, ABC News. Thanks, Pierre, for that.